Hi there, everyone. Uh, this is Jeremy. I think you met me in the first video. Hopefully you watched it. Uh, and you're back here at East Coast EDH. And today I want to talk about something I think every Magic player in the history of time has constantly dealt with. And that's bulk Magic cards. Like piles of them. Everywhere. Constantly. I've been dealing with it for the past two or three weeks. Sort of my fault. Um, you know, you buy boxes, you throw the cards back in the boxes, you find a closet to stick them in, and you kind of forget about them for a while. Then you get to the point when you buy another box and you go to stack it with your other collection of loose, random, bulk magic cards, and you're pretty much out of room in the closet. Then you say to yourself, well, it's, it's time to do something with the bulk. So, past two or three weeks, I've been organizing them by, um color for commons at least on commons i'm just sticking them all together i'll sort them later hopefully someday um and you can find bulk magic cards in a lot of different places um look at this this nice cartouche that was fun everyone remember that pre-release uh Amicat, i believe opens up lifts up full of lands very 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 not helpful to anyone at all so these are eventually going to come out this nice cartouche is going to find itself in the recycling bin. Um, this, huh, from the heyday. Soul Divi Steam Beast. This thing is beat. It is in rough shape. This was in a drawer. Look at the back of that card. I mean, that's bad. Then, for a more recent set, Throne of Eldrain. I've got to sort through all of this. Um, I'm going to put it in long boxes. Now, while I've been doing all the sorting, I've also been kind of following the Secret Layer release. And I was thinking to myself, wow, Wizards of the Coast is getting into selling singles, as everyone's been saying on Instagrams and YouTubes and all over the internet. And while I'm sorting through the pounds of bulk magic cards I have, I thought, well, if they're selling single magic cards, Shouldn't they be taking trades in as well? I mean, it would be difficult. Can't really do it by rarity. Um, people could say, oh, here's Uncommons. Throw in a box, they're not there. They'd have to sort them. That wouldn't make sense. But I was thinking maybe something like buy the pound <laughs> for credit to use for their their wizard store or arena or magic online. Um, how they would do it, I don't know. But you'd ship them a box away to the post office. They get it you get some sort of credit towards the pounds of bulk rares that you do commons on commons all mixed together uh no separation you get credit for it i mean i think that's a better idea than letting them sit in someone's basement get thrown out sit in lgs's multiple copies of the same card over and over which brings me to another point these cards get sent back to wizards i don't know maybe they could recycle them use them to make new cards but it would also help the market get through a lot of these cards that are five, five, ten cents, barely a penny, because they're no longer there. The availability would be much less. So all cards would generally, I think, increase in value because the availability of them would be gone. They'd all be getting sent back to Wizards, I would think, for those that would afford to and want to take advantage of it for credit on whatever. I personally, I don't know, I'd like to see... Uh, in the comments what you guys think get back to me or something along those lines i think it could potentially work you know down the road in the future um yeah that's my thoughts on that then with the whole secret layer i did bring up i did pick up the uh the bitter blossom just today i'm not getting the whole set might get the kaleidoscope killers we'll see uh the value is really only there in the two boxes and i don't have a bitter blossom so made sense to me and you might be asking about the scarf. I didn't even, I forgot, such big news up here in New England. Um, huge snowstorm. Probably 14 to 16 inches dropped on us over the past, what, two days? Uh, luckily, I was, got to spend the day at home. So I didn't have to go out driving in this horrible weather. Which all you uh, East Coasters and Northerners know is not fun. Very dangerous. But uh, on that note... I wish you all a good day, and until next time...
Man. 